Hello and welcome to another edition of East Van Drone. Today's edition we are exploring Vancouver on my bike. It was a special day, New Year's Day, and uh, the weather was fine, so I decided to take the bike out and the drone. The first stop we get to is Burrard View Park, which is on the south side of Burrard Inlet in East Vancouver. It has a great view, as the name suggests, over Burrard Inlet. You see downtown and you look uh, eastwards towards the bridges there at the Iron Workers Memorial Bridge. And then uh, on to the next stop, which was a small park that most people don't know about. It's called Cambridge Park. Now, Cambridge Park is fairly inconsequential as parks go, but it has a, an amazing view over the dock area. And it's the, probably the most unrestricted view uh, of that area for the drone. Uh, everything else is covered by either trees or buildings of some kind. So as you can see, it's a pretty amazing view. And But, as I said, lots of trees and you have to be kind of careful around that. So it's back on the bike, uh, over to Stanley Park, and then uh, once you get to Stanley Park, have a bit of a sit down, have some lunch. This is the view I had from there. And then it was to negotiate around the crowds at the Polar Bear Swim, which was happening at about 2.30. And it's a traditional event that happens in Vancouver every year, started in the 1920s by Peter Pantages of Pantages Theatre fame. And it's still a tradition that's uh, done every year in Vancouver. I uh, took part in it myself in 1983, and it was the coldest ever on record. Minus 10 with snow on the ground, and then subsequently never did it again. So the next stop is David Lamb Park, and many of you will know David Lamb Park if you go to the Jazz Festival. It's the main area for the Jazz Festival right here on this park area. Uh, it's on Faults Creek, and the good thing about David Lamb Park is that it's, while it's a park, it's very close to the high rises in this area. So this area used to be all industrial uh, up until the, uh, we had Expo 86. Uh, with all its kind of blessings and curses they built a whole bunch of these high-rises and uh, subsequently uh, there's a lot of people live there and uh, there's not a lot of park area so the parks are generally busy so I try and avoid them on the weekend but for some reason on this day New Year's Day it wasn't very busy so I got some good shots here I am looking a bit dorky in my bike gear there's the drone, looking happy. The drone looks a lot cooler than I do. Anyway, so he's off to the next stop after that. So the next park, Trillium Park, uh, won't be familiar with many people because unless you're a soccer player, you've probably never been there. But I first had to negotiate the crowds on the seawall around the eastern end of Faults Creek. So here I am going into the park, as you can see it's uh, artificial turf, built a few years ago. And the only reason why I know this park exists because that parking lot there in front is often used for uh, the movie industry and I've spent many hours in this parking lot. But a lot of people don't realize is that this area between Science World and Clark Drive is reclaimed land. It was originally an inlet. Faults Creek Inlet extended right to Clark Drive and the land was filled in with fill from the Grandview Cut, the railway and Trout Lake which makes you wonder if it's a good idea to build a hospital in this area as they're suggesting. And here's the railway station, the Canadian National Railway Station. I was just here the other day since I shot this uh, filming right down in the station for a TV show called The Twilight Zone. You may know it. So anyway, thanks for watching this edition of East Van Drone. It's a special edition. 
to start the new year off. A lovely day. The day before was awful. The day after was awful. And today it's snowing. So that get, tells you what the weather is like in Vancouver. So you get out as best you can. It was good to get out on the bike. I've not done that for a few weeks. Thank you for watching the video. And please support my music at iangregson.rocks. If you want to buy some of my music, that would be great. We appreciate that. Uh, we'll be back again with another edition of East Van Drone in the very near future. Until then, please subscribe, like the channel, and ring the bell so you know when the next video is coming out. And we'll see you next time on East Van Drone.